Margie Johnson. What an honor to be standing here with Mindy Drazen. You are an amazing woman. You're not just amazing, but you are television number one, tel my television, CBS. Share with the viewers who you are. I'm a television makeup artist for CBS, a key makeup artist for the sports show, and I do the NFL today. So some of my guys that I work with are Dan Marino, Boomer Esiason, Shannon Sharp, and uh, I know nothing about sports, but I know how to make everyone who talks about sports look very good. That's awesome. And that is so beautiful because you are gorgeous. And I, I know having the guys to work with, that's probably a challenging job because they don't want to put on makeup and they go, why do I need to do that, right? Do you have that or no? Yes, I, I have to tackle them down the hall into the dressing room to get their makeup done. And, but it's a good thing. Do you, do you realize how great I am, honestly? Shannon Sharp, he's really white. And on air, I make him look black. You, is that like, is that amazing? It, it's it's how amazing. Do you it's, white it's, look black? It's, it's our secret. Exactly. Everything is high def. High def, you can not only see every pore, but you could see what's in every pore. So less is more. You want the skin to look flawless. It's all about contour and contrast. And um, I'm very privileged to be able to work with these great athletes and make them look uh, the best that they can on national television. I think that's an amazing thing, but like you said, the privilege to be able to work with them. But what has inspired you? How did you get involved um, in doing, working with athletes and doing the makeup? Well, actually, it wasn't about working with athletes. In the 80s, I had the biggest private label cosmetic line on the South Shore of Long Island. Now I'm dating myself. <laughs> no, no, we don't want to, you look gorgeous. But um, in 94, I had a friend who was a technical manager out at the U.S. Open in Chase Stadium, and we were covering tennis, and uh, he asked me if I wanted to do the makeup for the show, and I met everyone who was anyone at CBS Sports. I worked on the show for two weeks, never thought I'd hear from anyone again, and a week later I got a phone call saying that Pat O'Brien, that was our sports anchor at that time, had requested me as his personal makeup artist and would I, I go and do the college football. So that's like almost 20 years later and I'm still here. That is nice, that's awesome. So you're getting ready for the new season coming up pretty soon with all those college and everybody else football. I have never been so happy that football season started until this September because they were on strike and that's it. But this is about the skin, about the skin. So do, do you find there's a difference between men's skin and women's skin? Well, it's tougher. Obviously, men's skin also, it grows facial hair. So you have to worry about ingrown bumps, um, hair, acne. So it, it's a tougher skin than us women have. So I need to ask a really silly question. Do they have to prepare makeup before they actually play or this is just for television as well? No, 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 no. I don't put makeup on the players going to play football. I do the makeup for the announcers in Studio 43 at CBS. Oh, so all those favorite guys I know, you, you make them look good. That would be funny. Don't you think that would be funny if I was actually on the sidelines and before they went to do a touchdown, I'm like, wait, let me fix your blush. No, that's funny. That would be yeah, like, that's, that's, that's that would be really totally good. Cool. So who's your favorite um, announcer or sports announcer you like working with? Who's your favorite? I'm sure they all are. I'm sure you guys all are. They, they, well, all my guys, are, they are, I can't, yes. And I'll just, I'll name uh, James Brown. Oh, James? Oh, James? I know, oh, I love James Brown. Right, JB. Um, Dan Marino. I love you too. Boomer Esiason, Shannon Sharp, and Bill Cower. You were, wow, well, I'm standing here next to a legend that make these guys look hot. Now, are you a football fan? I love football, yes. Okay. But anyway, um, what is in store for you, Mindy? Um, what's your plans for the next six to 12 months? Football, and then basketball, and then golf, and then tennis, any kind of sport with a ball. That's what's in store for me. So you do all sports with a ball. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad we've met. I'm so glad you came on the Audrey Johnson Show. Now, if there's anything that I might have forgotten to ask you that the viewers need to know, what would you like to share with them? Audrey, I think you did an amazing job. You have asked me every question plus 
So there's there's nothing that, that I need to add to that except to say that you are a pleasure to work with. It's we, nice to meet you. We love having you. We would like to have you to come back. I want to give you a big hug. Oh, you're awesome.